Welcome to another InventRight.com show. My name is Andrew Krauss. I'm the co-founder. I want to talk about uh, it's something kind of fun. And, you know, when you're an inventor, you like to think big, right? And when you're licensing, you can do that. You can have, I kind of joke about it, you can have delusions of grandeur when you're licensing. Why is that? Because when you license your new product innovation to a big company, you basically are that big company. You, you, you have access to their money, their workforce, and their existing distribution. If they're in 30,000 stores, you're in 30,000 stores. So you can think really, really big. Maybe they sell 50,000, 100,000, 200, 300,000 units a year. It's exactly what every inventor envisions for their product. Uh, most inventors don't envision starting a business and selling 50 units. I talked to somebody just earlier today and they're selling about, actually, I think he actually said 30 units a month. That's it. And it starts to get very disappointing. You put massive amounts of time in to sell it from your own website or wherever else. But when you license, you can have uh, delusions of grandeur or thoughts of grandeur. They're not even delusions because they're real because you can get your product out there in a big way very, very fast. Now, a great thing about that is that protects you. The biggest form of protection is not patents. It's first to market. When a company gets your product out there big and fast, everybody else is a me too. And they have better distribution than the knockoff companies. So when your company is selling 80% of the product and the knockoffs are selling 20%, congratulations, you're successful. So thinking big is perfectly okay when you're licensing. You can do that. Which is, brings me to another point that I wanted to make. Um, when you work on products and you pick your products, pick products that have a decent potential for volume. Okay? Don't pick a product that is 1995 and the company may only sell 2,000 units a year. You're not going to be very happy with your royalty check. You can license products like that. And if you're just having fun, you don't spend a lot of time and you're learning how to license, I don't see any harm in that. But it's really not any harder to license to a big company. Let's say it's a new... Um, a new shovel innovation. And this company is in Home Depot, Lowe's, Target, Walmart, Ace Hardware, and Orchard Supply. It's not much harder to do that deal with that big company that's distribution in all those places than a company that is just selling 2,000 units a year to some really niche market. So it's the same amount of work most of the time. And sometimes those smaller, really, really small companies, they're, you know, family owned and it's just, they're uh, kind of, they're just wrapped up in their own thoughts and it's harder to do a deal with them than a marketing manager for a major company. So why not think a little bit bigger? So the getting back to the theme of this show, is it's okay to have delusions of grandeur. You're not delusional when you think big when you're licensing. You are delusional if you think you can start a one product company and overnight be in all the big retail stores with a $100,000 or $200,000 investment. You need millions and millions of dollars to do that. And even if you get the money, it doesn't mean that the retailers want to talk to you because they, again, would rather go with those big companies that have 15 products in their store. And not only that, if you fight tooth and nail to get in there, and you get your product in there, it's very hard to maintain that relationship so you can keep your one product in that store. That big company is going to have manufacturer's reps that are going to keep that product in that store. So when you're licensing, you can think big, you can have dreams of grandeur, not delusions, and you can license your product and go big. So take care, keep inventing, and we'll catch up with you next time. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Stephen Key. And I just want to thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please, subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.